Hello everyone, this is Dr. G. We are studying Labor Supply Chapter 2, Part 9. In this part, we will talk about impact of changes in wage on labor supply. And we are going to talk about the substitution effect dominating income effect. Again, I'm going to go over it. I just love go going over this every time. Wages went up. Yeah, up income effect says that you are now richer i'm just gonna put this you're richer that means consume everything that's normal good unless i tell you consumption and leisure are both normal good leisure goes up hours of work needs to go down substitution effect says that run away from the thing that is relatively more expensive wage rate goes up lab uh, leisure is relatively more expensive consumption is cheaper so you're going to increase your consumption you run away from the thing that's more expensive leisure therefore hours are going up substitution effect dominating means right income and substitution effects are working at the same time wage went up Substitution effect dominating means that leisure is at the end of the day, three dots. Leisure is going to go down. Consumption, both effects are saying to consume more. Consumption will go up. Consumption will go up. Leisure will go down. Ours are, is going to go up. Okay, so let's get started. Increase in wager, wages, less leisure at higher rates. So, so we established leisure is going to go down for sure. When substitution effect dominates the income effect, again, I need to go over all this reasoning. Sorry about that. I need to go over this reasoning quickly to determine leisure is actually going to go down. So wages went up. Worker decreases leisure. So how can I show that? Initial optimal point is point P. So your budget line is going to swivel up somehow like this. Okay. So this is the new budget line. And down one point, non, uh, labor income didn't change. So leisure is going to go down. Initially, leisure is 70. So you need to find a new equilibrium. The tangency point of this budget line with the indifference curve somewhere to the left of this point. So I picked this point. So actually it's going to look like this. So again, substitution effect dominated. Leisure has gone down. And check out the consumption. Consumption has gone up. Okay. And number of hours went up. So how can I decompose... Income and substitution effects. It's the same way. Okay. So for instance, this is better drawn, right? GE is the new budget line. New optimal point is R. So to find the income effect only, you need to find a budget line that is parallel to this initial budget line, but tangent to the new indifference curve somewhere here. So let's decompose the income and substitution effects to isolate the income effect, draw a budget line parallel to the original budget line FE. So same slope, but it's tangent to the new indifference curve. Boom. So I kind of DD is the ghost budget line. So P to Q is your income effect. Income effect set to increase leisure, right? So income effect P to Q said to increase leisure. Substitution effect is going to be Q to R moment. It says to decrease the leisure way down. So substitution effect one in this case. So if you look at the final result, P to R is final. We just decompose to see how they moved. So leisure went down from 70 to 65. Consumption went way up. Hours of work went up. All right. So, folks, in next part, we are going to practice. So, next part is going to be all you practicing.